Now to another terrible scene. There's been yet another tragic accident on the Big Island. Three people died in this fiery crash this morning on Queen Ka'ahumanu Highway. And police say it all started when one vehicle tried to overtake a car. This is video from the scene. Officials say a 1998 Toyota 4Runner had been passing vehicles, was heading north. This was right before 7 o'clock this morning, and the driver lost control of the 4Runner, veered into the oncoming traffic, and then was broadsided by that Nissan Titan truck you see. The driver and the passenger in the Toyota 4Runner that was weaving in and out of traffic, both killed, also dying in the crash, the driver of the Titan. The passenger in the Titan, a 32-year-old woman, is now said to be in critical condition. Big Island police have this to say to drivers after the deadly crash. Speeding was, was a factor in this crash, and what I can best suggest to our motoring public is that they you know, be cognizant of their driving, just the general knowledge of you know, slowing down and being careful while you're operating cars out there on the highways. Meanwhile, as you can see here, the crash actually caused a lot of traffic. You see all those cars backed up. A viewer sent us this time-lapse video, and it shows how far back the traffic was backed up since only one lane was open at the time. A truck driver even wrote in and told us that he has never seen traffic like this before. Queen Ka'ahumanu Highway was shut down for five hours, and it finally reopened at noon today. And this morning's crash brings the number of deaths on Hawaii roadways to seven in only the past five days. Two people died after a crash on Kunia Road here on Oahu yesterday morning, and two others died in separate accidents over the weekend. And with graduation season already upon us, police on all islands have been urging drivers to ex exercise great caution and to drive defensively. We spoke to a Honolulu police captain who told us they're seeing more and more instances of aggressive driving and that it's up to all of us to look out for one another. People really need to be careful, and like I said, they need to look out for each other. Um, everybody has, especially in Hawaii, we're such a small community. Everybody at any given moment of day has a family member or somebody you know on the road. And you would like to think and sleep that you can go to bed at night thinking that, you know, my family member or my friend is safe driving on our streets. Captain Tapfinger says if you see somebody driving erratically, erratically, try to get a description of the vehicle, a license plate number, and then alert police as soon as it's possible without jeopardizing your own safety on the road.